I was also contacted by a, uh, a constituent who had received, they went through the process and received their uh, county decal uh, for the um, uh, trash. Um, and their question was, uh, Basically, what, what happens if there's no compliance? And it got me to thinking, um, what, what happens to somebody? And I think that this is important for folks to know and to see just when this is slapped together so last minute as it was, just all the, the holes that are in this ordinance. Um, basically, if you do not receive your, you do not get your uh, trash decal, you show up to the dump, and the um, person there basically says, you don't have a decal, you can't dump. That person says, I'm a citizen, it's my, I, I'm allowed to, and they proceed to do it without attacking, without verbally abusing the, um, the dump attendant. Um, at that point, what consequence is there to that person? Mr. County Administrator. At, at the current time, um there really is no teeth uh, to the to the ordinance. Um, if the person were to continue without showing proof of residency or having a decal, uh, I believe, Mr. County Attorney, they could be charged with uh, trespass. So is there at some point that we uh, are going to institute a fine or a penalty or something? Um, or, or is that uh, not on the table at the time? We will be coming back to the board with a code amendment to strengthen uh, the uh, enforcement part of the code um, because of the way that the code is written now, uh, it, is, it, it is gray. Uh, so in order to um, uh, bolster that uh, or put some teeth behind uh, that uh, requirement will require a, an ordinance change. Mr. McLaughlin. So just to clarify something, uh, you know, with this whole sticker rollout, we had multiple board meetings, multiple work sessions in order to come up with this solution. We knew it wasn't going to be perfect, but I got to tell you, so far, the implementation has been done well. Uh, it, it's a very simple process of getting your sticker, and they come in a couple of days. And going into it, we even had discussions that there was going to be eaches. There's going to be cases out there that are going to be that we're going to have to address to make sure that we address a church or a small business or things like that. But we are going to address those as they came out. The same thing with a penalty or how it's going to be enforced. All those things are going to be worked on. So I just don't want you to take the impression that the board didn't carefully consider how this was going to be implemented and that the staff didn't do a lot of work to make it happen. They did, and it's working fine. There's going to be those glitches here and there, and I think the board and the county staff is going to address those. So for, for the work that's been done, I appreciate it because there's been a lot of the vast majority of the board said we needed to implement this because of, you know, the uh, uh, folks from Stafford, Spotsylvania, and, you know, small businesses coming in, not using the proper landfill procedures and all that. So, again, I thank you for what you've done, and that's all I have.